Hey, all right, welcome to another episode of Stand Tall. Today is July 26th, and today, let's start with Sun Tzu, the original, a separate translation, and then dive on into the Daily Stoic after that. Today's reading from Sun Tzu, disciplined and calm, to await the appearance of disorder and hubbub among the enemy, this is the art of retaining self-possession. Cool. I like it. I like it. Using order to deal with the disorderly, using calm to deal with the clamorous, is mastering the heart. I like what Dumu says. He says, once your basic mind is settled, you should just tune in and order it, making it calm and stable, undisturbed by events, not deleted by prospects of gain. Watch for disorder and clamor among the enemy ranks, then attack. So for me, what speaks to me is, you know, watch for disorder and clamor among the enemy ranks, then attack. Um, as a portfolio manager, financial advisor, to me, this, this speaks a lot um, in the sense of just kind of like waiting until there's, you know, quote, blood in the streets. And so just always having cash reserves, you know, once you're settled, tune in and then just stick to the plan. Be calm, be stable, don't worry about any of the external events, and especially when investing, don't be deluded by prospects of gain, because it's not a get-rich-quick scheme, it's a game of overtime. Ho Yongchi, he, he says a lot of things, it's a big paragraph. He basically says, like, a general with only one body and one heart leads a million troops to face fierce enemies, whether it's victory or defeat. Gain, loss, they are intermixed. Strategy and intelligence change 10,000 times, and this is placed in the general's chest. So here he's saying, I guess, you know, during, during everything while he's facing fierce enemies, there's 10,000 different strategies and things that he's thinking of. So unless your heart is wide open and your mind is orderly, you cannot be expected to be able to adapt responsively without limit, dealing with events unerringly, facing great and unexpected difficulties without upset, calmly handling everything without confusion. That's a tall order, man. That's a lot. You know, that's asking a lot of somebody. So he's saying, you know, Master the heart, Sun Tzu is, and a general has his heart in his chest, and you have to have like this open heart, I guess, for your troops, and an orderly mind so you know which outcomes. But since you have both, and that's what we're striving for, right? That's what he's pointing out is that when we order our mind and get our ducks in a row, and we keep an open heart, then we can adapt responsively, so pretty quickly, and without limit, which is interesting. Dealing with events unerringly, tall order, but perfection might be following the heart. Facing great and unexpected difficulties without upset, calmly handling everything without confusion. Yeah. How about that? I like that. Which leads us into the Daily Stoics reading. Mr. Ryan Holiday and Stephen Hanselman, the guys, the myths, the legends. Thank you for making this available to the world. When good men do nothing, often injustice lies in what you aren't doing, not only in what you are doing. Marcus Aurelius, Meditations 9.5. History abounds with evidence that humanity is capable of doing evil, not only actively, but passively. In some of our most shameful moments, from slavery to the Holocaust to segregation to the murder of Kitty Genovese, guilt wasn't limited to perpetrators, but to ordinary citizens who, for a multitude of reasons, declined to get involved. It's the old line, all evil needs to prevail is for good men to do nothing. It's not enough just to not do evil. You must also be a force for good in the world as best you can. This is good, because think of it. 
it's not that you can't just not do evil, right? So it's not that you can't just dive on in whenever you want to. Whenever it's glamorous, you need to master the heart, calm the mind, gain control so that you can keep an open heart in order to be a force for good in the world. It's really just as beautiful as that, bringing the East and the West together through peace and tranquility, self-reflection, patience. We can master our duty as it pertains to making sure that we speak up and speak out when the time comes to speak up, speak out, and stand up for each other. So it's a duty to others. While we focus on, yes, maneuvering, but strategy overall, I think that that's what we should, uh, we should do on, on, on these days is be a force for good as best we can. Stand tall.